I know it's late. Oof. And this is your first day, but you might as well just dive in. No better way to learn a job than by doing it, I always say. Uh, who's Maxie? You are. That is, you are the new Maxie. I gave the other one a chance to come back, but she didn't show up today or bother calling after endless assurances that fashion was her destiny and style her religion. I mean, what could be so important in Maxie's life? You also are responsible for answering the phones, okay? Oh. And uh, if my attorney, Diane Miller, calls, put her through immediately. I have a pending legal situation. Oh. That would be the phone. She'd probably answer it. <clears throat> Hello? Pentonville Prison? Well, if it's important, of course we'll accept the charges. Miss Falconeri, it's for you! New Maxie, would you mind coming in here, please? <clears throat> you see that button? It says intercom. Make it your best friend. Connie Falconeri. Connie. It's me, Johnny. Johnny, why would you call me? Better yet, how could you call me? I thought you were in prison. I am, but I need to see you. It's important. Please do not fire me and replace me with the new Maxie. I went to the floating room and got your breakfast just like you requested. You do realize it's dinner time. I can explain that. I'm sure you can, but you don't need to. Okay, I, I was on my way to work this morning and I stopped by Dante and Lulu's house and I found out that Lulu was missing. I thought she'd been found at Cassadine Island. She was, but now she's lost again, and Dante is frantic. Anyway, I still went to the floating room to get you your breakfast, so you didn't think I flaked on my first day of work. Well, Maxie, that's exactly what you did. Okay, but when, when I went to the floating rib, they had found Lulu's engagement ring in this bowl of peanuts, and I didn't really know what to think, because why would Lulu ditch her jewelry? Well, naturally, you were not concerned about showing up at work or calling and saying there was an emergency so HR could find you a sub. Okay, yes, the HR thing was an oversight, and I'm sorry, but I can explain that, too. I'm sure you can. While it was at the floating rib, I found out that this annoying person who's been sticking their nose into my personal business was at it again, but this time in a much more vicious way, so I had to go to the hospital and put the kibosh on that. Maxie, I offer you a rare, very rare and precious opportunity to redeem yourself in a career that you swear is your passion. It is my passion. And what did you do? You showed up eight and a half hours late with a soggy breakfast sandwich talking about peanuts and hospitals. Do I want excuses? Do I want explanations? No, Kate. No. Connie. Connie. What I want, what I need, Maxie, is a first assistant who can do her job. I know, and, and I, I can do my job, so please do not replace me with the new Maxie. The old Maxie really loves her job and is very good at it, and I am the best first assistant that Kate has ever had. Or, not Kate, the, the very demanding woman that you used to be, who's not that different from the very demanding woman you are now. The thing is, you need me. Not as much as I might need you, but you need me. So please, don't fire me. Just give me another chance. Okay, I'm gonna give you another chance. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You won't regret it. Um, I'll get your and calendar together. Because I have to do something right now that can't wait, and I cannot leave that poor girl in charge of my desk. Can you start right now? Of course. Uh, right. Where will you be in case anyone asks? Never mind. I'll just tell them you're in a meeting. I, uh, I have to go to Pentonville to see Johnny. Johnny Zakara? Are you still married to him? Yes. Uh, technically, I don't know. Maybe that's what this is about. He said it was important, so I'm gonna go and see what it is. But take this time to put this office into some semblance of order. Thank you. You can count on me. Yeah, we'll see. I almost forgot to tell you. You're fired. You've got 20 minutes. Thanks for coming. What is this about, Johnny? Why am I here? Because someone's life depends on it. <laughs> 